you do have a choice when it comes to budget home theater projectors, and today I'm going to take a look at the Vankio Leisure 470 Mini LCD Projector. So let's dive right into what comes with the package. The Leisure 470 is packed in a handy carrying case to protect it if you need to take this on the go. There are Velcro straps that hold the projector in place and a compartment for all your cables. The entire thing is pretty compact and it doesn't take up much space. Right above the lens you'll find focus and keystone dials to fine tune the image. And it's nice to see actual buttons on the top to operate the projector. Turning it to the side there are several source inputs including two HDMI ports which is nice. You can even plug in headphones or use the USB port to display what's on your smartphone. Media on SD cards also works here. On the back there's a VGA port for older PCs to connect. And on the bottom of the Leisure 470, they only have three mounting points instead of the usual four on other projectors. And when you look at the front, there's a twist out expandable leg that adjusts the tilt angle of the lens when using this on a table. The included remote is really slim and it's easy to hold. Any of the settings can be controlled through the remote. The projector also comes with an AV cable plus HDMI and power cords. But let's get this into my media room and see how this projector performs. The lens cap is made of hard plastic and it slips off easily, but almost too easy in my opinion. And when the VanQ is first powered up, you'll have to set the language for the menus. And while I'm in the menu system, I'll show you an important setting that can help with aligning the image on the screen. There's a setting where you can reduce the display size to help shrink the video to the size you want. Currently, with this projector on a table, I'm able to move the entire unit forwards or backwards to adjust the size but the digital size setting can really help if you're not as flexible with placement. Shrinking it down to 75% is the smallest setting here. The projector works really well with an Xbox One, which is what I'm using here. The image is definitely large and clear. The only thing I've noticed is that it's not as bright as some of the other projectors that cost slightly more. But this is completely usable in a darkened room. I have some ambient light in this room from some LED lights, but you can still see the image quite well. For most people, putting a projector in the middle of the room isn't an option. So here I've got a mount from Vivo to install the projector onto the ceiling. One thing I wasn't expecting was that the back mounting holes are too close to the feet, at least for this mount. So I had to use some extra washers to use as spacers. This created the perfect height so that the arms of the mount were off of the feet and level. The great thing is that the Vivo mount includes various size screws and washers that fit this projector exactly. Now the mount I'm using is the VP02 which has an extension arm, but there's a version without the arm that places the projector just below the ceiling. I find that using the arm helps align the image onto the screen better with less keystone adjustment. And if you run your cables into the ceiling you can have a very clean looking installation. One thing you need to know about the Leisure 470 is that it's a native 720p projector. You can still connect full HD 1080p sources like my Xbox but the projector will scale everything down to 720p. So when you see a projector with specifications that says 1080p supported, you understand what that means. You're definitely not getting the full 1080p resolution on the screen. And here's a few other important specifications. The Vancouver Leisure 470 has 3000 to 1 contrast ratio and a 5000 hour lamp life, and it produces 4000 lux. There's also a built-in speaker that actually works quite well if you just need to listen to content. But if you want full sound, you'll need an audio system to go with this. Most of the content you're seeing here is from an Xbox One, and here you can see how much light is coming from my LEDs in the room. As far as accessories go, I'm using this 100 inch screen also made by Vankio, and I'm using push pins to attach it to the wall. The ceiling mount is the Vivo VP02 with an extension arm, and I'm using a 50 foot HDMI cable from Blue Rigger. All in all, if you're on a tight budget for your home theater or gaming room, the Vankio Leisure 470 is a good starter projector at only $129. It's very affordable, and you can get an image much larger than any HD TV in this price range. Playing games or watching movies is more than acceptable on the Vankio Leisure 470 projector. Plus, it just looks cool to have a huge screen on the wall. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my weekly videos.